Just gonna jump straight into the multiplayer tonight and play for a little bit. I was playing cattle and crops earlier, but I'm really not feeling that. Apparently career mode doesn't work, so you don't get contracts and stuff in it, so I'm like meh. I'm working my way through the tutorial still, but it's like I really don't see where the game is. You know? I don't see where the game is. At least in this game I can do stuff. And the channel should be live. Let's see. Here we go. I was watching my friend earlier playing a bit of a Dead by Daylight, but game probably fun to play it's not great to watch i don't think um, or at least his streaming of it doesn't make it very fun to watch um, as a streamer he seems to not interact much with the viewers and the chat he tends to be so focused on what he's doing all the people he's playing with and it makes it a little, not very there's long periods of time where he's just sat there doing nothing and um, that doesn't make for great viewing. There's also lots of periods of time where other people in his voice chat take over the stream. And they're the most vocal element of his stream. And that's not fun to watch either. Because certainly from what I've watched of his streams, there's one element that's very vocal. And... Um, he, all he does is moan and complain and bitch and whinge and whine. And I'm thinking, dude, you might want to mute him. Because <laughs> he's going to be putting your viewers off. Hello, chickens. I'm going to wait for the map to synchronise. I don't know what's going on. I know Mr. Helgi played yesterday. I didn't. Not entirely sure what's going on. Wait there. Wait, is that? That's Mr. Helgi's weight. Mr. Helgi's tractor. What has Mr. Helgi been doing? Oh. Mm. It run round. I haven't got super speed today because I haven't logged in as admin. Tractors over there. It looks like loading wagons out somewhere. I'm doing straw Some, from something. He's been doing a harvest contract. Good way to check would be to look in the yeah harvesting contract. Very nice. Field seventeen, big field. Not sure why he would have the front weight not on the tractor? Anyway, let's have a look. We are at ninety nine percent fermented. Of our alfalfa silage. That's very good. Very good. Because I would like to get the alfa alfalfa silage picked up. Uh, I am going to need another field of alfalfa silage, really. As field 9 on its own is just not... Just not generating enough for me. Um, especially with our sheep and stuff now. So, I'll be looking at how we're going to uh, increase alfalfa silage production. And it's a possibility that I might buy field 12. I may come and get field 12 purchased. Um, Where's the good seed? Where's the good seed? What good seed? I don't know what the good seed is.
I need to find... So if Mr. Helgi was down on, what was it, Field 17? Has he got equipment all over Field 17? He has got a... I'm guessing that's his tractor. I'm guessing he's not got the front weight on it. Hey, I have no idea what that is. Sorry, Octavius, I'm not following. I'm not following the conversation. You don't have access to this land. Oh, no. Why do I not have access to the land? Is it because Mr. Helgi took the contract when I wasn't online? be unless Mr. Helgi logs back in it's possible that I can't complete this contract uh, or at least I can't get the straw from it that's a little bit unfortunate that's the first time I've ever encountered that problem I'm guessing it's because I wasn't logged in yesterday when Mr. Helgi took the contract, so it's not going to let me do it. Also, technically speaking, technically speaking, you want to, if you're doing straw on contracts, you need to make sure all the straw has pick, is picked up before the contract says it's completed. So before you deliver the crop... The, the sell point and complete the contract you need to make sure you've got all the straw picked up before then because once the contract is complete you lose access to the land um, unfortunately for me and it looks like the map I can't pick up the contract I've, I've got a feeling then that Mr. Helgi must have delivered all the crops done all the harvesting and everything before he picked up the straw in which case he's messed up there he's definitely messed that up <laughs> and what i'll do is i will collect that contract there's nothing i can do about the crop unfortunately on it the straw then i can't pick it up I will need to educate Mr. Helgi on the uh, correct procedure for doing straw contracts in the future. Because <laughs> don't forget as well, if he did it yesterday, the server's reset twice since he logged out. It reset in the early hours of this morning and it would have reset a couple of hours ago this afternoon. Because it's programmed to reset, the server's programmed to automatically restart every six hours. Again, that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Because then the contracts are going to definitely... Any code in the, um, in the system is going to get reset. Although the contract might have been open initially. Or collecting straw. You've got to make sure you get it done before the server restarts. Otherwise, you're going to get locked out. So there's a lesson everybody don't log out until you've actually finished the job <laughs> and if you don't have time to do the job don't start it um i'm gonna want my little red truck i think i'm gonna go get the jnn mm. And then I think I'm going to take my harvester, wherever it could be. 
Um, I'm going to start harvesting field 12, I think. I think that's the plan for me. Field 12? Field 11, sorry. Field 11 is what I need to harvest. Everything else is growing nicely. Field 9 is not ready for mowing yet. The alfalfa, so I can't do that. Hopefully, this will work with follow me, and I'll be able to um, drive all around the uh, fields. Alfalfa. Like I say, definitely need to get another field planted up with that. I would like to own field 12, but I don't really have the um, have the money currently. We have 318,000. And I don't know how much field 12 is likely to set me back. Harvester. So just out of curiosity, how much would Field 12 cost? 305,000. Uh, I'm going to buy it. I want a big alfalfa field. I do. Show lines on, of course I do. And I need to reset the offset. And why there's an offset? Shouldn't be an offset. Control. Thank you. No, we're not. I'm going to first of all remember to fold out the pipe. I need that out for unloading into the truck.
Was I wrong? I'm feeling he's perhaps a little bit too far away. Tends about right, tends about right. Could make him a little bit closer. Nine and a half or something like that. Lay some straw down. bit closer dude you're a little bit too far away that's better that's better might be a case that the case harvester is a longer pipe than my harvester which is why the settings are slightly different I shan't worry too much about This corn harvest done. I'm just going to keep flipping the, um, I'm going to keep flipping the, um, um, GPS course, 90 degrees. I don't really see a lot out of this harvester from first person. Which is a bit strange. always feel like you sit, you, your character's sat too high in the cab, like the viewing angle needs to be lowered. You're actually looking out the window. I don't know if anybody else feels that. Visibility in Harvesters has never been great in this game. It's one thing I have to say, having say having dabbled a little bit in couple of cattle and crops the last couple of days the ability to actually zoom in in the cab zoom in and out with your character view and you can set your viewing angle in the cab using the um the d-pad to control your in-cab view i do like that i do like that feature of that game I think what I'll do, we'll get field 12 lined, fertilised, all that good stuff as well before we seed it to make sure it's all good. Make sure it's all good. And, um, I 
from it there he was going to hit the tree and be like George, George, George of the jungle Now, dude, you're kind of making it hard work for me. <laughs> He's made that very hard work for me. Follow me doesn't do very well when you're turning left with a harvester because the tractor tends to get in the way of the harvester. The, the tractor doesn't really know that you're trying to turn left. So, of course, it, it, it doesn't react very nicely. The good thing is going to be that at least when I turn around next time, it's not going to be quite so bad. Not going to be as bad. the straw on obviously This field is very, very hilly. <laughs> very, very hilly.
Get out of my way. Crane cart driver. Doing a good job. But he keeps getting in my way a little bit. Just a little bit. I need to go and get a truck in a minute because that loading wagon's looking pretty full. That's it. You're making this harder work than it needs to be. Come on, tra tractor, you gotta move. You're in the way. Might have to just 
do a quick spin round at the end of this field and just go and get all that stuff because this guy's kind of annoying me a bit. But he won't halt, he keeps getting in the way. I'm going to take all of this. And get this bit. That's it. That's it. I need the truck. A truck. First truck in the queue, which unfortunately doesn't have any fuel in it, so I need to go and fuel it before I can utilise it. Okie dokie. Plenty of poop piling up next to the uh, chickens. Need to get that moved as well at some point. Be put into the. Uh, Manure storage. Next to the pig pen. So we've got plenty of manure on hand for when we want to keep our greenhouses, get our greenhouses working for us. This could be a bad day for us financially. We might dip into the red today. Uh, we've only got 13 grand left. And obviously we'll have a loan payment going out at midnight. I don't know if Mr. Helgi had sold anything to the um, BGA. Which would give us some money tonight. No idea. Yeah. 
There we go. There we go. He's unloading nicely now. it's going to be bloody dark again now why is it that i always end up doing the jobs in the dark mm. okay. why is it i always end up doing these kind of jobs in the dark
get him. I got a nice line coming down here. Look. I'll let the loading wagon, I'll let the grain cart driver catch up. Big harvest this, this is a long harvest doing the corn on this field. This takes quite a while. And the straw will take us just as long. Get all picked up. show you how to turn around as well at the end of this row when you've got follow me so you can harvest the next row without issues because obviously if I just try to turn left that ain't gonna work <laughs> I'll show you the trick that you have to do Reverse. See? You reverse round. And follow me guys like, okay, I can do that. So he still drives the right way. He doesn't get lost or messed up.
Hmm. Might have to leave the straw for another day. As I say, I really didn't want to get that alpha planted quite quick on field 12. a full trailer of corn. Don't know if the corn prices are going to be high enough um, this time around. been a bit low when we've done harvest in the past which made it very very hard selling the um selling the corn Sure enough, my trailer is full. My harvest is full. It's just slightly over half full. Apparently.
We'll check the corn prices and see if it's worth selling any today. Might not be. It's getting dark quick. That sun has started to go down rapidly in the last few minutes. Nighttime harvesting, nighttime harvesting, always harvesting at night.
You want to do one more row down here, and then I'm going to let the worker carry on. Harvest this field while I go sell that trailer of corn and start getting some of the um, straw collected up, I think. That would be a good example then. We'll have uh, plenty harvested. So right shift F. Disable that guy. is hired truck needs to go to best price for corn US mill 463 bucks what is it corn prices are not very high these days I'm making sure I don't do the um, destruction on the corners of the field. Uh, 69,000 not made a lot from the corn but
couple of mank more from the straw. Miss my turning. I'll go between the signs. Very tempted to go to the house and make it daytime. Just so I can get the rest of this finished off. to the uh, loading wagon as well. Hello, Mr. Helgi. Good evening to you, sir. I'm going to make it daytime because I can't see. Um, might have not been enough hours. Might have been too many hours. Seven. Harvest is running nicely. Good, keep running. Just 
possible as the, uh, the worker misses bits of this field when the uh, harvester gets full. Like some straw. And we'll collect some straw. Because it won't let me collect the straw on field 17. did with that one Mr Helgi but you definitely broke that field I don't know whether it's because you completed the contract if you'll win this thing I played a little bit. I, le I played a little bit on of cattle and crops today. I'm still trying to do the, all the tutorial stuff. It's taking ages. And then I found out as well that it really doesn't matter because uh, career mode's not actually implemented in the game yet. <coughs> Despite it being the released version of the game. If you go into career mode, there's no missions and stuff, so... I'm not sure how you're supposed to make money. There's no contracts for like other farmers and stuff. Yeah, but in in the release notes for the version one, they also say they've removed all the missions from career mode. So in career mode, I don't know what you're supposed to do because there's no missions. There's no like contracts to do for all the farmers and stuff. Yeah, this isn't field 17, this is our field. Field 17 would not let me pick up straw. Hmm, I wonder if that's what broke it. Well, when I logged into when I log when I log when I log when I logged in today, it was showing as contract complete on the contract screen. Yeah, but it was, for me it was showing as complete, and when I tried to collect the straw, it was telling me I didn't have access to the land, so I could not pick up any straw off field seventeen. So I wonder if with the contract being completed, it's. And everybody had logged off. No, there was nobody on. Hmm. Yeah, but then you've logged out of the game and then the servers reset a couple of times. And then I've logged in today and it wouldn't let me. Would not let me collect any stuff. I mean, unless it wouldn't let me do it because I wasn't logged in at the time when you accepted the contract and you took the contract, therefore I wouldn't have had permission anyway. I don't know. 
All I know is I could not pick up any of the straw on field 17, so I was like, oh dear. I don't know. Yeah, he misses a couple of rows. Because the, the harvester rolls forwards. The harvester rolls forward a little bit, I think. When it's unloading. So he doesn't he doesn't restart where he finishes from. What physics setting are you playing on? Yeah, but what what level? There's there's easy, there's medium, and then there's realistic. If you're playing on realistic, you need to change that because they they've said that that mode is bugged. It doesn't take it. It doesn't take it. It doesn't take into account the weights of all the equipment and vehicles, which is why you sink in your fields all the time. Because it's the, the the weights and stuff don't scale correctly. They've not they've said they've said on their forums realistic physics is not working properly. Do not use it. Play on medium physics. Yeah, but they're telling you now not to because it's not working properly. <laughs> Who is testing it? Well, Nobody is testing it. Yeah. Well, That's what it is. Oh, we don't have time. Just release the fuck. We don't have time for testing. Just release it. Well, I certainly didn't do any testing for cattle and crops because the few minutes that I played of the early access, I wasn't impressed with. But I wasn't going to spend hours and hours testing the early access version because I didn't see enough content in it to warrant me spending time on it. Yeah, but what that, difference think, is this version now? I think that's the big problem. Because not a lot of people have tested the early access version, they've gone ahead and released the game, and it's got all the bugs that the early access version has had. But there are people that have... and, and uh, Just in the in the stream, somebody said he had 800 hours in the game. Since 2017. <laughs> how, how do you get 800 hours without getting bored to death I got bored to death just doing the bloody seeding tutorial today oh this is it's the equipment I mean I don't mind but the fucking seed is that fucking small and then they want you to sow I mean, plant corn on a what? field I was like fuck off you're gonna, you if know, you're gonna plant corn on a field I want a proper fucking size planter or seed I, I was this little fucking I'm tiny just doing this, thing that they get me I'm just doing this scenario yeah, for seeding and Planting and getting the harvesting. Yeah. I was doing this scenario, and then in the middle, every time, every row, this bloody expert is telling you something. Yeah. Then you have to press the left controller stick, go there, and and close close the the text field after you read it every time. Yeah. It's not vanishing automatically or something. Uh, this is so annoying. And he's not really giving you f information that is essential in the game, but essential to farmers. How deep the seed is, has to be planted, and whether you plant an, another 
uh, um, fertilizer corn under each seed is very nice. Yeah, I don't need it for the game. Yeah, I'm not going to be a farmer in the future because I played this game. Yeah. I did one of the um, I did, as I, said, I did one of the seeding tutorials and then I was like, and it wanted me to do another one for the call and then I was like, no, just done one seeding tutorial. I don't want to do another one. Fuck off, game. Yeah, but you it's can't a... play the game without the tutorials and scenarios finished. Yeah. It's fucking annoying. Absolutely. Which is absolutely annoying. I and mean, it's... they want you to give positive reviews, reviews uh, to support them, but I mean, there are some positive things, yeah? and like the AI workers are great. Yeah, yeah the AI but workers are great. So, are, so are, many there things. There are chaos are bad. jobs. I noticed. I noticed on the tutorials to do the. What was it? Animal feeding and was it the silage, the BGA? Hmm. That was a bit different because the workers didn't do that. The game just fast forwarded. Oh, okay. And then it comes up saying your worker has finished the task, and I'm like, well, I haven't actually seen them do anything. So it's like, whereas the whereas like with the other jobs, like the ploughing and cultivating and stuff, they'll actually get the tractor, take the tool, drive to the field, and do it. With those jobs. I don't think they're pro they're actually coded in game to actually be able to do it. So the game just like fast forwards time and then says, Ta da, it's complete. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what bullshit? <laughs> I wanna see them doing the fucking job. I wanna see them filling the bunker, squishing the stuff. <laughs> yeah, I saw one guy doing the squishing and it was like in farm simulator, yeah, like very high level. Then I also saw, and, and, but the, the compression, you didn't see anything moving in the pile. Now, the, the developer stream to, uh, the, yesterday, they showed a big, uh, uh, it was a cheated silo full of stuff. Yeah. And he was driving with a tractor on it, and it really squished very nicely. It looked great. It squished this, and it, it moved down, it moved down, and, and at the edges, it was great. But then he played the game, and the AI workers were filling the silo. But it, it starts filling it completely flat on the ground, and then eventually going up. And while they do that, they drive through, and they do squeeze it, squish it. But it's not building a pile. It's just a flat area of green stuff mm. where the texture is rubbish. Well, certainly in the tutorial, they didn't do any driving. The, the AI didn't do any driving through the bunkers and filling the bunkers. Like I say, in the tutorial, the game just fast forwarded time. And I was like, oh. Where it t where, you know, the tutorial where it teaches you how to create work jobs and save presets for your. I think assistance. the harvest is finished. Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost pressing, pressing the cross to get out of the vehicle. <laughs> There's one thing oh. I did today. I did go and rebind my controls in cattle and crops to make them similar to um, farm sim controls. Spent some time yeah. in the putting the controls to smack farm sim, like turning on the vehicle is right button and square. It's definitely a good idea to do that, yeah. The only trouble is now it messes up the controls on that bottom bar on the screen, that quick access bar thing. Because obviously I'm using a lot of left button and buttons to do, like, my usual lower header, lower unfold, turn on equipment type stuff. I, d I think all those, those, what that bar on the bottom of the screen is completely broke now. <laughs> I wish I could just turn it off, disable it. Hmm. And view. The quick bar. Yeah, because I'm never going to be able to put anything on it because I'm using all those buttons. quick bar because you're quickly confused. Well, I've all those quick bar buttons are now assigned to actual proper vehicle functions like farm sim so when i play cattle and crops i use the same buttons as i do in this game but that doesn't seem to want to work with the quick bar the quick bar's like uh-oh <laughs> hmm. you weren't meant to do that 
as long as you have no no function signed to it, yeah, it's good. When the uh, helper is for, for unloading the harvester, when the helper is underneath your pipe, you actually have to press overload, yeah, unload. Yeah. It doesn't do it automatically. You can get a mod for this game that makes it do that. In this game, you have to, to tell, the automatically yeah, to tell okay. the harvester to overload when it gets full. And then it just automatically empty once the trailer drives into it. Yeah, but then also the, this game, Cadillac Cops, is still limited to vehicles yeah, that are available and stuff. Children like. Um, by the way, can you buy a second loading wagon? Then I can help you. With the straw collection, mm, is this is our field, right? Yeah, it's our field. Hundred and forty-five thousand. Mm, I need to sell something. I need to get some money. <laughs> I need to sell something and make some money. I can't afford to buy the loading wagon. <laughs> no. No. What no. did you buy again? Did you buy stuff again? Unbelievable. What did you buy? I'm hoping I'd get a lot more for the corn harvest than what I got. Fortunately, corn prices seem to be really bad again. about corn in the long term so did we get at least the contract value yeah and then i got another i think thirty three thousand for the har uh, additional harvest that i did for the additional corn that i could sell mm, fill a trailer up with some stuff and then we'll sell it quickly at our farm barn. Put, put some straw in the in the PGA, we should have received some money for that. Actually, when we skip time. What is it? PGA, 107,000, not bad. So what did you buy? What? Bought a field. Wow. Because I planned a plan. I planned to have a plan. But then the I twelve. In twelve for me. Yeah, but then I, I didn't realise it wouldn't the game wouldn't let me do the straw on field seventeen. And then I was like, shit. <laughs> I thought the straw on field 17 would have easily... It was really a lot of straw. Huh? Would have really got me the money back. It would have been perfect. Yeah. For whatever reason, the game just would not let allow me to do the straw on that field. Whether it's because, like I say, I wasn't logged in when the contract was accepted. And therefore, I didn't have permission. Maybe. And that's not a good thing to have. That... That is not good. Whether it was because, like say, the contract was completed, which meant you'd done all the harvesting and delivered all the crops, so it was ready to, to claim. Whereas if you'd have waited, left the contract open and done the straw before selling all the crop, yeah. they may have let you do it, I don't know.
145,000 for another loading wagon. So I'm quickly done some score. We've got anything else of high value lying around? <laughs> well, we might have potatoes. What, uh, what, uh, steamed potatoes? They're probably worth a couple of quid. Yeah, I can sell them. Let me do that, yeah? Just keep going. I'll park the stuff. The tractor needed repair. Selling the steamed potato was also something that I had on my task list, except that the contract for harvesting this field took so long. <laughs> it was quite a big field, 17. Indeed. Field 17 and field 11 are probably the two biggest on the map, I would think. So, oh, you, you already collected the, the card? Oh no, it's on the field. It's in there. You put it in the silo, what do you think? How much have you got left? This, this card is 120,000. 26. 126,000. Yeah, put it in the silo for now. Prices aren't very good at all. Which makes me wonder if in future I'd be better off if I do corn, whether to forage harvest it instead and do silage or yeah. anything. I don't know. I don't think corn's ever really paid much on this map. I don't think, well, put it this way. Whenever we've done a corn harvest, I think the prices have been in crap. <laughs> and whether it's just we're unlucky that our corn is harvested at the wrong time. Our hot corn grows at the wrong time when the prices are the worst, I don't know. But we don't yeah, seem to get good corn prices. Right, we should have enough now to bit where I can buy another loading wagon. Let me sell the potatoes first, maybe. Well, do you want it? A slightly different colour. There you go. And oh, by your break. My iPad is well, I remember because the batch is starting to get a little bit low now. It was 100% when I started streaming, now it's only at 42. I think the battery dies very quickly in my iPad these days. It's a bit old. That's six, seven years old, my iPad, so I think the battery's probably long past its useful life.
watching old episodes of South Park the other night and I got to the episode with the <laughs> agnostic drinks. Which means there's a load of people who needed to drink agnostic drinks in this house. That includes Dr Pepper and Dr Pepper Light. Because nobody knows what it is. <laughs> hmm. Okay, seeds. Potato. Potato steam. Yesterday I was dropping the uh, the straw at the beach because you get more than six hundred bucks for it. Yeah, but it's, but it's um, more longer to drive, right? Long, much longer to drive there. Yeah. The only thing is, what you could do is put it in the silo, if possible, and then put it in the truck. Like a truck you can transport a little bit more. I'm not sure if that's possible because the truck yeah, might the not the accept can, the straw. Yeah, the truck can do it. The truck can do it. I have put some straw in the silo. Just looking at the money situation and thinking, you know what, money's that low at the minute, it's worth just getting rid of it. <laughs> yeah. I also noticed in the cattle, cattle and crops game that the AI even breaks when there is a, a deer on the road. Wow. Yep. And I saw deer on the field. They don't run away, really. They, they, they walk away when you go after them or hunk, can can blow your horn and then they run away. Where is animal supply? Where is this? I thought I had a green. Where is this green marker? Behind the trees? Yeah. I saw the marker, uh, don't see it in the sky, it's uh, too bright. I should know where the farm, where the animal supply is by now. <laughs> yeah, cattle and crops is a bit of a weird one. There are some some parts of that game which I'm I'm I'm, I'm very positive about. And I think, yeah, that's that's quite nice to have that feature and functionality. But then there's so much that's just like, oh, God, why did they do that? <laughs> why does that not work? Like when I'm, when I'm, when I'm in the tractor and I'm driving, I like the fact I can zoom in and out. And change my view using the controller. What? So I can zoom in closer on things, or I can zoom right Where? back in the chair and change. My view I, so now I can see I, better. You mean? No, in huh? cattle and crops. In, 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 you can what? In cattle and crops, when you're inside, sat inside the tractor, you can zoom ah. backwards and forwards, and in okay. and out, and you can move your position around so you can see better from inside the tractor. I like that. I do like that feature. I wish they had it in farm sim. <laughs> I'm not sure if I have seen this feature. But when I go into the uh, into the truck here, I, th I think I'm, I'm sitting too far behind, too far back. 
I don't agree with I always feel like I'm sat too high in this game. My character's sitting too in, um, high up here. It's like, it's like he's sitting on a phone book or something. Especially yeah. the harvester, because like the windows of the harvester are really low down and I can't see under yeah. it. No. Can't do anything about it. Yeah, in cattle and crops, the outside view, you can zoom in with a mouse wheel. Yeah? That's what I saw. You can also zoom out. Well, I, have, I haven't used any of the outside view yet. Views yet. In cattle and crops, I've only played it in first person. Okay. Played it in first person. Because again, I've disabled most of the buttons to do with changing cameras and changing views. To make the to make the controls more like farm sim, so now when I press left on the cross, it moves it swap moves vehicles for me, <laughs> which is what I wanted. I don't even know the button for moving into other vehicles. The false ones. They also say you can uh, attach your steering wheel, and it would have already. Um, Configured the buttons for it. I don't know. I don't know that one because I've got my steering wheel unplugged at the minute. Because I was getting far too many random phantom, phantom signals when I was playing games that it was starting to mess me up in other games. So I've had to unplug my steering wheel unless I'm playing a game that I'm actually using the steering wheel for. No, I'm using a controller for cattle and crops. Because I think that was the reason why I could, why my brakes didn't work in cattle and crops. Whenever I was pressing the left trigger, nothing was happening. I couldn't slow a vehicle, I couldn't slow the tractor down, I couldn't reverse. And then as soon as I've unplugged my steering wheel, it works now. And I go in game. Now, where's my tractor? Where did I park it? Captain. I have to jump through. Are oh, you using it? Oh, Jesus. You want your green tractor, fair enough. I'll no, 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 grab my no, no, red no, tractor. No, no, I, I don't my want my green tractor. I was looking for my green tractor. And now I see you got it. I'm fine. Right, I'll use a different one. <laughs> Just let Mr. Helgi have his tractor. Uh, he just wanted to have a new, nice and shiny loading rack. No, I wanted to have a nice shiny track, new tractor. That's all washed and repaired and refueled. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> I like fancy ones. You forgot your soft drink, by the way, in the tractor. What, my empty Dr. Pepper? Yeah. I need a new one. I need, I need a drink. I must have the drink. Where's the drink button? No, Kimmy, you won't have the drink. The, um, I can tell you that this game, Cattle and Crops, with farming and everything, it will be time consuming. Oh, yeah. Will time consuming like hell i mean unless you use help us help us and help us oh definitely i did that I mean, tutorial. They have I did so that... small tools such yeah. small tools yeah i did that tutorial to plow the field and fucking hell did that piss me off it literally does <laughs> it, it, it literally plows one row behind the tractor at a time it's like yeah. you've given me a plow that's smaller than the freaking tractor and the then, same is for the the normal cedar. And then the yeah the seeding yeah. the seeding tutorial I did today, I skipped that halfway through because I was like I'm fed up now I'm fed up with doing this. You've given me a cedar yeah. that's fucking too small. No one would use a cedar that small in real life. No one. 
I mean, the, 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 direct, the direct seed is pretty pretty good, yeah, it's, it's much wider. Still not very big, yeah, but okay. That's at least working. I hope somebody's going to make some cedar good, good mods for it, where they have some nice, nice cedars and stuff that are proper size. Because everything, all the equipment in that game, in, in the game is too small. I'm sure that game is made by the same, I'm sure Cattle Crops is made by the same people that make all these free meter cultivators. Farm sim. <laughs> it's got to be. Because all the equipment yeah. is freaking stupidly tiny and ridiculous. It's like, oh great, I've got to, I've got to cultivate a field and it's going to take me freaking 10 hours of my real life. I Maybe might, it's realistic well, that the I farmers might, have small equipment. I might as well be a real <laughs> farmer if it's going to take me 10 hours to cultivate a field. Yeah. No, there are, there's definitely some things. I did, I wasn't very I wasn't very impressed with the cleaning mechanic. Wasn't in the cabin you just park next to it and click <laughs> clean on the screen i was like i was at least hoping i was going to get to have to jump out and grab the um, pressure washer like you do in this game to wash your vehicles <laughs> and then it was like when it come to like unload the seed from the cd you just drive next to the pallet and click the button to unload and it just magically fills the seed at the side on the pallet okay Now you put you put it in the silo, okay? I'm putting some in the silo, yeah. I've been kind of alternating it backwards and forwards. You want to do the tactics with the truck? I mean, we can move move it then with the trucks to the BGA. Yeah, can move it. Get three later times on. the money. Three times the money. I was I was kind of alternating backwards and forwards. I was delivering one load to the silo and one and selling one load. Then I was delivering the next load to the silo, selling a load. I was kind of alternating, but yeah, we I probably can need some cash as well. I can deliver it all to the silo now because you've sold you the potatoes, so we've got one hundred eighty-six thousand now. So our finance well, is there. Is there a, I mean, that's it. That's enough for for the um, the loan, right? Yeah. That's enough for the loan, so we're, we're doing okay. We've we've solved our financial crisis for the day. We can do a contract, but I would rather prepare this field, make it ready for another crop. Yeah, that's my plan, and I wanted to get field 12 sorted out as well. The farmer had finished with that field when I bought it, so it was, it's like ready to be prepared. Kind of, again, hmm, maybe I should have waited till there was actually a crop on it. <laughs> Could have robbed when I bought the field and got a free crop, but I saw it was ready for like cultivating and that, and I thought, oh, that's perfect, I can get it seeded then, straight away with what I want to put on it. I don't think it needs ploughing and lime, or at least it did. I don't think it did, so I was like, perfect, I could just drop some alfalfa straight on it and <gasps> alfalfa yeah that's what you want to do on field 12 yeah because field 9 doesn't really yield enough not for silage yeah. making purposes field 9 is going to be okay for doing the alfalfa that the sheep and that need for eating we're just doing like alfalfa windrow and dry alfalfa for the sheep but for doing the alfalfa silage i need a much bigger field because i barely got any in that bunker when i did field nine last time so i kind of need to uh rectify that
I'm doing all the long rounds. <laughs> and I'm full. Yeah, I've got to do. I've, I've got to, As I said, I've still got to do the um, seeding tutorials. I've got to do do one more maze tutorial in cattle crops. Then I've got to do the the grain seeding tutorials and the grass seeding tutorials. And then I've got all the fertilizer. Yeah, the grain to seeding do. tutorial is what I did. Yeah? And do all stuff, the fertilizer. It's interesting, ones. and you learn a lot. And then I get to do the harvesting tutorials. I get to do the forage harvesting. Just, but when you do this, the the the, the um, grain seeding and may and, and corn seeding tutorial and harvesting and I tell you it's not allowing you to skip. And then I've got to do the yeah. grass mowing. The whole it, yeah, it won't let you do that on the um the cultivating the headland so tutorial. Like, the headland tutorial it was like that. that you have to do a headland. The, the guy said. You should do a headland, but in the tutorial for headlands, it, it had a, a, a blue line around it where you do the headlands. Mm. I said, how do I create this blue line for headlands? You can't. You have to do it in your head. You and have to keep growth har in your head. Our harvesting headlands are also different from other headlands. Because the other, like cultivating and that, you do the headland last. But with harvesting, you have to do the headland first. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I, I didn't like doing the headland tutorial because that was a freaking pain as well. Because I, I, at one point, I ended up, I must have been driving the wrong way up and down the field. So when I was going through the little yellow circles, it wasn't detecting properly. I got mm -hmm. most of the field cultivated and it was still telling me to cultivate row three. Yeah, the, the tutorial is very strict. I mean, literally, I had to cultivate the whole field. It wouldn't let me skip any of it. it but like, oh, then the on. scenario doesn't really act as strict as a tutorial, which is good. As long as you've done the job, it's fine. Yeah, and then I've got to do the grass mowing tutorials as well learn how to mow grass how to rake it and how to ted it how to check its moisture hmm. it'll be good stuff and then i've got to learn how to transport animals and I did like it when the helper transported the animals though. I like how he drives into the thing, he tips the trailer up and opens the doors and then all the bulls just come walking out of the shed and climb in the back. Hmm. That's like, that, that, that would never happen in real life. The, the bulls aren't that clever in real life. They just break for freedom yeah. and run away. But they all just hmm. wandered out of the pen, turned around and load, loaded themselves in the back of the trailer. I was like, yeah, they well, are the most well, intelligent well. animals I've ever seen. <laughs> German bulls. They are the most intelligent <laughs> animals I've ever seen. I wonder if they're so quick to climb out of the trailer once he gets to the abattoir at the other end. When he gets to the butchers at the other end. Are they quick to, so hmm. quick to climb out then? Yeah. <laughs> we need a bit of prodding. Bulls or bullen is what we call the police, yeah, if we are negative about them. The bullen coming, the bulls coming. Hide your drinks. Twenty-two percent full. There's some straw at an angle on this field. Who's done that? <laughs> Me. 
Mm-hmm. I have to harvested the leftovers here. You know? Leftovers where the AI stopped to unload. And then I forgot to, sw to switch off straw swats. How much do we have in the soil? 440,000. Millions. Millions. Almost half a million. Almost. We'll have enough to save us for rainy days. Hmm. Use the rainy day fund. The mad and sell it all at once. <laughs> I think I'll do at least two transports to the PGA. Another thing I don't like about the AI harvesting, not only does he miss bits of the field when he's harvesting, but he also doesn't shut his straw swath off when he gets to the end of a field, end of a row, yeah. and he ends up doing a great big pile that he can't pick up. In one go. In new machine. Yeah. I have to, I'm going to have to learn him. I have to teach him. It's not good enough. When I hire you, I expect the, you to do the, the job properly. The Chinese, the Chinese guys can now hire the one who made the AI work on cattle and crops. <laughs> that would be so nice. I hire him. He knows it. He knows how to do it. He can fix it. You know, to like do a proper, like I just. I must admit, being a, the, the, that whole assigning workers' work in cattle and crops, you click on the worker, then you click on vi at vehicles, and you give him all the ve you give him the vehicles and the equipment, and then you tell him where to go, where to start, mm -hmm. what to do once he's finished, what to do with the equipment, and then you click the button, and it's all he does it all. You don't need to touch him again. You don't need to deal with him. Yeah. I think that's just so brilliant and it's like done by one guy <laughs> yeah compared compared to what you have in in, in this game and they can't even flicking the field properly without having to babysit them 
you, mm. you, 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 you have to drive the equipment to the field. You have to start harvesting or whatever, and then you hand over to the worker. And even then, they don't do it properly. They miss half of it, the field, or they claim they can't, they're blocked by an object or something. And yeah, they don't, they don't even know the field. I mean, this very interesting how they do that in cattle and crops. So. But I wonder if cattle and crops does it because they don't have customizable fields. Like yeah. you, you can't make your own fields, you yeah, can't absolutely. plow fields and that join has, fields together. That is they have clearly given them the lines to drive on, yeah. Yeah, the fields are all fixed and you can't make them any bigger or smaller or anything. I think that's how they get around that. Maybe with cattle and crops. There are no modern maps in this game. Maps. No. But you've only got the one map in cattle and crops. That's probably one excuse that Giants has, yeah. Yeah, their workers would have to work on all the modded maps and I mean, they figure out their own ways, yeah. But in in cattle and crops, they have defined railroads, yeah, just yeah. going through the map for the workers to drive on. But sometimes they do mi mi mix up. They are not perfect. Yeah? They are not absolutely fail-proof or failure-proof. All finished. <laughs> All the straw collected. Oh, field 11 and 12 needs plowing. Hopefully, none of them need lime. So they just need plowing. Oh, they need yeah, fertilizer. The they need fertilizer. All the fields need. hardly need any any lime. <laughs> they need fertilizer Jeez. and then they need plowing. <laughs> the fields need hard, hardly any lime. Chings. Chings. <laughs> Chings. Yeah, all the fields need lime. Now. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! I'm breaking. Oh, I'm breaking. Me too. Breaks on. As responsive. They still work a lot better than doing cattle and crops. If this was cattle and crops, I'd be on the main road by now, down near the US <laughs> mill. And I'm trying to change like said, gears. The, I'm trying to put it in reverse. I, to see if that can slow me down. And I made I made a mistake when I um, attached the the header to the header trailer. I went there eventually, then I I pressed Y to lower it. And then I pressed it was what was it? B, yeah. And that was the mistake. I should have I shouldn't have lowered it, just press B and to drop it onto it. So it tipped over and then I tried to push it upright and I pushed it on the road and by bing the game crashed without any information, any anything just vanished from my desktop. It's Still absolutely crazy. It. I'm not sure what 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 was saved or the, or what wasn't saved, I don't know. Where do I put this thing? Okay, in the gap next to the mower. We won't need it for at least five minutes. <laughs> Reading up the corn stalks down to the BGA. One load. Just 
how you can probably take a load in his trailer. Save the rest for another day, and then we can start plowing and stuff. The fields are still growing, so that's fine. I think I go across the field with the fertilizer. Yes, they definitely need fertilizer. Which type do we need? More nitrogen or more phosphate? What do you reckon? I don't know. Well, I haven't done that <laughs> bit yet. I haven't done that bit in cow crops. <laughs> I watched the tutorial. It's so complicated. I'm just going to put everything on the field. It's so complicated to use a certain ratio of of these three components or the one fertilizer that gets close to the ratio you need, you know. Unbelievable. I'll spray the fields with all three chemicals. Fertilize the you can't three do times. too much. Yeah, you I'll shall have... not do too much. You're on your side of the road. Move out of my way. What? I've pallets of sugar now. Mm -hmm. Been good. At least in cattle and crops, the traffic, you can push it away. It's not... Not on... Immovable, you know. Like in this game. Yeah. Yeah, in cattle and crops... And the other... They are also a little bit more to give way than this traffic here. Yeah, in cattle crops, when you fly into a car at 50 miles an hour, the car moves. And it does move yeah. quite a bit. Again, due to my lack of braking ability, I tend to use the AI cars as stoppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tend to use them as my guidance railings. <laughs> and then there is no multiplayer yet in this game. It will come. But when? Who knows? One crops multiplayer. Uh, that'd be fun. Uh, the, the game and the programming is prepared for multiplayer. But You'd need multiplayer just to be able to plow one field. <laughs> you can need at least ten well, people yeah. with that it's tiny little plow. You employ some workers, but I don't know how much it pays. I mean, they want you to put the the uh, the, the the crop into the silo to sell it at a later date. Mm -hmm. That's what they say because usually when you when the the crop is ready for harvest, the prices are down. So you keep it in the silo and sell it when you want. And the market's asking for it, basically. Because uh, unfortunately mm -hmm. the market doesn't coincide with harvesting periods. Yeah, that's real life, isn't it? You see that. It is, yeah. Uh, see that, and you know, like the likes of Millennial Farmer and that, and yeah. how he's still got last but, year's corn and last year's soybeans. Yeah, but that he's, he's uh, but he, to try and make but room for this year. He's trying to make contracts in advance yeah. before he pl plants it, even. But who enough? knows? I, I need so and so many million tons of corn next year at, in March or something. Who knows that? <laughs> well, I did like the bit the other day where he was like, oh, yeah, I'm just putting these, be these beans through the dryer and then into the, the bin because. These are some of last year's beans that are, are, are very low quality. They're very poor quality beans. And we're going to mix them in with this year's, he says. I'm like, oh, really? 
See, so the company that's paying you for beans this year is expecting nice trailers full of nice shiny beans, and you're going to bury some crap beans in them. And he's fucking this. And, he's fucking, yeah, he's and fucking he's this even system. recording it. Yeah. I mean, that is not very clever. Yeah, it's like I mean, you've just, you just, just admitted on camera to fucking your customer over. So the, the customer is saying, hey, dude, can you check the Millennium Farmer video whether he's fucking with our beans again? <laughs> he's put a load of shit beans in the bottom of his truck and then uh, good beans on the top. Yeah. So they've got less good beans. I, I can think he's, he's the kind of guy. <sighs> right, so we've got plowing to do in a minute. We've got fertilising to do. Fertilising needs to really be done first. So if Mr. Hoagie's going to fertilise... I would like to. I am going to take the chance because I think the bunker's ready. So I might be able to use the milling machine to empty the alfalfa bunker. While well, Mr. Helgi's doing some fertilizing, and I can, I can then make us go at plowing. Mr. Helgi wants to start by fertilizing field 12. Or moving on to field 11 and that means I can then have a start plowing field 12 whilst I've got a small plow and then once he's finished fertilizing field 11 he can grab the big plow and start on field 11 and I can join it with a little plow and the two of us can crack on the field 11 do you want me to start with field 12 Yes, if you could start fertilising on field 12 first, and then move on to field 11. That's fine. Then I can start ploughing field 12 with the little plough, and then I can join field 11 then after. Silage. This is the first of the alfalfa silage. And they yield a lot. I don't know if you noticed as well, but I did when I changed the map the other week, I made it so that the bunkers open a little bit more. When you click the open thing, the cover comes off a little bit further in there. The bunker? Yeah. before it used to only open a little bit and if he was trying to pick the silage up yeah right. it would get get be, be a bit of a hassle because it won't open oh, you completely open it now no, it opens a lot deeper yeah when you hit the open button it opens a lot further Fourteen thousand meters. That's all I got. Silage. That's really not much. <laughs> nine. Not much at all. We feed twelve together. We don't get that much. I mean, in principle, it's for free. Yeah? I mean, you don't have to seed or anything.
And I just think, I, think, I don't think alfalfa yields anywhere near as much as grass. Nowhere near as much as grass. So alfalfa needs to be on a way bigger field. Get a decent harvest. Yep, definitely. Even with field 12, you don't get much more. Maybe you get four times or five times that of field 9. So you get 100,000. It's also not much. Huh? Maybe this 9 and 12. And 12 gives you 120,000. Yes, I wasn't planning on using field 9 to do the silage. In field 9 I was hoping to use just just mow it, pick it up, and then feed it to the, the sheep. Field 12 was the field that I was going to use for doing the silage off, but you're saying field 12 is not going to yield that much. Hmm. Might need to get field 17 to do alfalfa on. Field 12 was all nicely fertilised, did. And fertilised, did. Do some plow allow allowing. Plow allow allowing. I do like the GPS in cattle and crop. The auto steer system. Yeah. yeah. I like that system. It's automatically aligned, huh? And it's good. When you turn around, it's still aligned. Fine. It's such, it's a sort of a soft guiding, yeah, where you can still steer and then it snaps again. Yeah, yeah. It's quite nice. Very nice. I wonder that if now that I own field 12, I'm going to be doing alfalfa. I wonder if I should be bigger. What do you want? I'm wondering if, if I ought to make field 12 bigger with me plan. Get a bit closer towards the trees on that side and. Because you have a. It's the harvester, you will not have an issue. Will you? No, yeah, because you're going to be mowing okay. some, so you're not going to have a problem with the mower, are you? No hedges in the way. Turning around. On field nine here. Have you set your plow to the correct width? Set it to eight or seven point whatever. Not much smaller. Set it a bit smaller. 
I got it set to. This direction looks okay, but the other direction looked like. I've got 7.96 as my width. I, I made it half a meter narrower, which is something I always tend to do with all my equipment. Yeah, yeah. Just make everything a little bit narrower. Especially on these slopey fields where you can drive across a slope and then it misses a bit. I like living on the edge. You, know. you like living on the edge. <laughs> Just living on the edge. Living on the edge. Coming home and your battery of your phone is at 2%. Living on the edge. Doggy's living on the edge and I'm, I'm living in a cardboard box. I'm living in a box. <laughs> I'm living in a cardboard box. There's an old song for you. It is. Past from the past. No idea who sang that. You know, I'm sure. No, actually, I don't. Hmm? Surprise. Well, I won't ask you. Oh, he wants to say living colour, but I don't think it is living colour. I don't think it's quite there. I think it was there. You can probably Google it. Probably have living colour on the brain from listening to Cult of Personality earlier. Hey, cattle and crops, this is how you do a plough in your game, if you're watching. You know, <laughs> plough is bigger than the tractor. That's a, you know, a little bit, yeah. it's you know, a little it's, bit. Uh, you know, that's a good idea. That's how you, how tools should be in your farming game. I mean, even if they have this ankle tie, it can stick out two metres on one side at least. You know? hmm. I don't know. Can you imagine such a big field with such a small plow? <laughs> Ta I played this game for 250 hours and I just plowed. Finished plowing. I've just finished plowing the field. <laughs> yeah. Now I've got to do 10 tutorials hey. so I can learn how to cultivate it. <laughs> and then I've got to do another 10 tutorials and then I've got to cultivate the field which will probably take me another 250 hours. Because the cultivator's about the same size as the plough. And then once I've done that, I've got to do a whole load of tutorials which teach me how to seed. And then I can seed the field, which will probably take me another 250 hours. So yeah, I can see how that guy got 800 hours in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and he's still not got to harvesting yet. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, when I, driving the combine was similar to this game here. But then this professor type is telling you about the humidity of the of the grain you're harvesting and blah 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 blah. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I mean I mean how can I influence it? Of course, maybe you have to look at the weather and stuff. But that's just too complicated. I'm not a farmer. I don't want to be one. Yeah, you can you cannot do that, you can also forget the fertilizing, whatever. It's just reduce yield. The crop will not be destroyed or damaged or whatever. Yeah. It's just less that you get from the field. If you don't want to do that. Yeah, at least they have this option of playing it a little bit more arcadey. But since they have the option to play it realistic, I want to play it realistic. Yeah. But I don't want to spend my whole life to learn it and do it properly. But maybe it's that complicated. You need a lot of time. Okay, another field fertilized. Can take out the, the plow. Take out the plow. Plow. At least he left. He left me the big plow. He also the only tractor that can pull it. <laughs> <laughs> Ach so! Ah ja, natürlich. Yeah, Selbstverständlich. When the big plow needs to be used, it's Mr. Hoagie's job to do it. Because he's the only one with a tractor that can pull it. Just said in German, abso fucking loopy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless I grab the challenge. I could do it with the challenger, I suppose, but then the challenger doesn't have GPS, so. Yeah. Need to do it without GPS. Plowing. Yeah, GPS and cruise lazy. control is really good in cattle and crops. We have to, we have to admit they made this one right. They did it correct. And also AI workers. Although sometimes yeah, I find when using, they sometimes when I, I find when using the cruise control that the game tells me I'm driving too fast. In cattle and crops okay. when I'm doing seeding yeah. or. Okay. You're going too fast. I mean, you have three three different speeds in cruise control. Yeah? As repeatedly you press one, two, three, and then you have two, one, two, three different speeds that you can select. In some, usually when I do seed and stuff, I I go to speed two. It's the second speed. Well, I've been trying to do everything at about the seven mile an hour speed. Which I think it's the first one. Yeah, it's, I usually do 15. I think what happens sometimes is sometimes I turn on the cruise control and the tractor doesn't move. And I think, oh, it's not working. And then I press the button again. Bit, yeah. And then I think I put it into mode two and then the thing's driving at 200 yeah. miles an hour. It's slippity doo dah you know, before the truck moves. Yeah, but real, real, with real physics, I so far have no problem. I mean, except for the harvester slipping a little bit. Must be a slippery road. Mm. Uh, slippery doodle. I don't We do doodle. I start with field 11. Huh? Yeah, you start at 11 and I'll come over there. As soon as I finish this one. Head over there. I'll start at the bottom end and work my way back up to you.
I think the ground textures look a lot nicer in cow and crops. Some. Some needs to be improved. Wait until you see the grass growing and hay and stuff. I mean, the soil textures, like the differences between a ploughed field, a cultivated field, and a seeded field look a lot nicer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's definitely right, yeah. Like when you've freshly cooked, when you've just when you've just cultivated in a field, all nice, and then you drive straight across it with your tractor and put great big pie marks across it. I like that. Mm -hmm. as well. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. messed the field up now. It was looking nice. Yeah, it's also that he he showed he demonstrated with the his dev tool that. Hold on. Um, demonstrated with his dev tool that after a lot of rain and the field is completely wet and he's, he's trying to get um, to, to save a tractor that that couldn't move anymore you have a little pull out uh, you can pull it out with some like mud runner yeah? yeah some tool and by doing that he he puts a lot of holes in the field yeah, where the tractor digs in and and so on, uh, and he says all oh, these holes you 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 have to recover later by plowing or cultivating. So plowing, I think it needs needs one time to go through over it with a plow, but with with a cultivator it needs two two goes before the hole is equalized again. Things like that they have in the game. So eventually, in cattle and crop, you end up with all those pallets with different types of seed, right? Yeah, if you're emptying your seeders, yeah, you end up with like wheat seed or maize seed, and um, yeah, you end up with all your different seeds on those pallets. So when you load it, you just have to select the right type, or the right type of seed, yeah, from which pallet. <laughs> then what what is the difference to some to have some um, do you have a single seat for everything or just to select one of the four or five seats? I don't know. What's, what's the point? In the end, you seed it and that's it. You just need to store many types of seed. Well, which makes it you can only plant unnecessarily wheat with wheat complicated. Seed. You can only plant wheat with wheat what? seed. You can only plant wheat with wheat seed. You can only plant barley with barley seed. You can only plant corn with corn seed. So you need all the different seed types to grow the different crops. <laughs> yes, I understand. And that's but why you have to store them how, separately. How do you do that? You go there with a seeder and select this seed, this seed, this seed, or this seed. That's the only difference. Understand? The only difference in this gameplay is that you have to select the correct seed in order to seed. Unless you just select a generic seed. So what's the point? The the the, the game mechanic is the gameplay mechanic is just selecting a seed that you want to seed. That's all. It's like telling your harvester or your seeder which seed you want to seed. It's it's just the same thing. Yeah, but when you only load, loading it in, is different. In, in cattle crops, when you unload the seed onto a pallet, each pallet will only hold one type of seed. Yeah. And you have three pallets. So you have three, five, and fifteen pallets there. <laughs> That's all. You have fifteen pallets sitting there with bags. Yeah, but you okay, don't. You on. have you have three pallets. Uh, you have three pallets sitting there, which can hold three different crops. 
So if you happen to have okay. more crops than that, like you're trying to plant wheat, barley, oats, whatever, at some point you're not going to be able to store seed for certain crops because you won't have okay. room for it. That's it's when just you, and annoying. It's like, yeah, and when you go to load the seed, you have to remember to load from the correct pallet. <laughs> so the, thing, the next thing that I can install is a mod that makes all seeds equal. <laughs> An equalizer seed mod. And it's like when you when you tell the helper when the helper's gonna do a seeding contract, you need to tell the helper to fill his machine from the right pallet. Otherwise he'll go and plant yeah. the wrong crop on the field. Or he constantly buys it. I have to get a drink. There is a mod for this game that the individual seed. And there's a lovely mod for this game that does realistic seeding. The only reason I haven't used it yet in any of my multiplayer or single player games is because as yet there is no support when it comes to storing the seed. The individual seeds. There are no silos that will take the separate seeds. There are no racks that will take the separate seeds. But if you start using the realistic cedar mod, you end up with freaking pallets everywhere. All cluttering up around your farm with all the different seeds and that. In. And I don't like that. I don't like having pallets stood on the floor in the way. <laughs> you know, I like to be organised. I don't know if the guy who does the realistic cedar mod plans to do some conversions of some existing mods to support his realistic seed. I'm not sure what, what, I'm not here. Hmm. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. What did you tell me? I was talking about the realistic seed mod that is available for Farm Sim 19. Yeah, and it's how that same thing. lets you plant separate crops. And you have to have the right seed to plant the right crop. Yeah, it's but just an annoyance, that's all. Well, it's not so much annoyance because I do like the concept of it. What I don't like is the fact that there is no external support yet to be able to store those different types of seeds. So when you've seeded a field with, say, wheat, and then you decide, oh, I want to go plant corn on this other field, you empty the wheat seed from the seeder, which puts pallets everywhere, and then you go and fill mm. the seeder up with corn seed, you go and plant your corn yep. field, you come back, you empty the seeder again, and you end up with all these pallets of corn seed, you can't do anything <laughs> bloody with because they won't go in a yeah. silo they won't go in a rack you just end up with freaking pallets everywhere looking untidy and i can't stand uh, that eventually you you would have to have some silos that have, that keeps keep the seed yeah, yeah. seed silos I, I, I don't know if the guy Un unless you want to buy all the time seed and then store the some like pallets that. somewhere and, but again in this, in cattle and crops, you have to select which seed you want to buy. And in farm simulator, you select the seed you want to plant. So what's the difference? You know? The only thing in farm sim, you can decide before you arrive at the field, you can still swap and change your mind. And in cattle and crop, you need to make your mind up before you buy it. I mean, except with modded cedars, you have to have a certain 
you have to use a cedar or a planter. You know? That's the same thing in cattle and crops. But hopefully, at some point in time, maybe the guy who's made the realistic seed mod for farm sim will make some mods that allow you to store the seed. Yeah. So you don't have to have pallets laying everywhere. You know, he might make some nice racks that you can put the pallets into. And then, or maybe some silos that I mean, support the different seeds. even say you have some, you have a pallet for each seed and it has a certain storage capacity that can hold one filling maximum no? of a cedar and the rest is in the silo so when you have seeded and the rest you cannot put back in the silo you have to put on the pallet to use again no? that's something i could think about so you don't uh, load the seed you just buy it from the cedar or from the special silo yeah. and the rest you put on a pallet but not many pallets like what we have right now I could even live with a plow, like in cattle and crops, that you arrive at the end of the field. Now you go there, you lift it up, turn around the tractor, turn around the cedar, lower it down and continue. That would be fine, can live with that. Also, filling up a cedar or emptying a cedar can take long, rather long, like in, in cattle and crops. So. Hey, watching that bar, yeah, unloading seed at the pallet thing. Look at this, because I had like 589 meters of seed left in the cedar. Because I was, I got <laughs> bored. I got bored of doing the seeding because it was taking forever <laughs> with the so tiny cedar. I was like, skip seeding, and then it told me to drive back to the farm. And then it was like, no, you need to unload. I was like, of yeah. course, of course, if I'd seeded the whole field, I probably would have had less seed to unload, so it probably wouldn't not have much a lot. No, not much less. It doesn't need, it doesn't take that much seed. You could, you could seed the field with less than 50 litres, I think. Maybe buy 600 at the start, though. <laughs> yeah, you have to. Just to make sure that you know how to unload. <laughs> Is the contract complete yet? <laughs> Is the contract complete? What amazing contracts, isn't there? What lot? Oh, cotton, field 23. <gasps> 28 grand. It's going to give you two harvesters, look. Jesus Christ. It's going to leash you two harvesters to do cotton harvesting. Mm -hmm. Cotton harvesting? Yeah. And takes 10 hours in real life. The barley ones, but... I didn't see a contract for field 13. I didn't. Never saw that pop up as harvesting. Do the sugar beets. Yeah, 517 litres of sugar. And still some sugar beets in the factory. Sunflowers, 2,000 litres, and still some sunflowers. Sugar's working its way down nicely. 2,400 litres of wool. With only 60% productivity. 
here because we need that dry alfalfa or alfalfa windrow. <coughs> we'll get when we do field nine. Mow it, pick it up, feed it to the sheep. <laughs> feed to sheep. Now it's sufficient to feed just two sheep. <laughs> two sheep, yeah. Oh, flipping egg. That um, sunflower factory then, it hasn't used a lot of sunflowers. Used what, 13, just under 13,000 litres so far. It's not empty in there, quick. But I think there's a couple of pallets down there. Well, there certainly was the other day. Somehow, somehow it takes its time. Give them a lot per day. Oh, there's a little stripe of of line. The field. Ah, you're plowing. Okay. You're extending the field. That's why. Yeah, because I, I, I had a bit of an overlap. <laughs> I was like, I'm not quite fully on the field. Got half a plow, so I was like, I might as well make it big enough to take the whole plow. Yep. The whole new run. I won't do that on this bit. I won't make this bit wider. Field 11. I think field 11 is big enough. <laughs> of course, at some point, anyway, I'll have to paint round field uh, 12 with a little bit of stuff just to keep the alfalfa from mixing with the grass when you're mowing it. Yep. Like, like I did on field nine to separate the alfalfa from the grass that surrounds the field. It causes havoc when you're trying to pick it up with the loading wagon. Because the loading wagon's like, oh, you have 28,000 litres of alfalfa in the, in the loading wagon. You've just run over one litre of grass, so I'll empty the loading wagon and replace it with one litre of grass. <laughs> and you lose all 28,000 litres of alfalfa that I had previously picked up. My game. <laughs> hmm.
Yeah, I'm pretty positive about cattle and crops that they are trying to improve it further. Well, but I hope then, they are. I hope they're cons be considering quick, considering how long it took them to get this version, it took them three years. You know, that's the only. That's my only concern. I, you know, the game's promising, but they definitely need to start rolling, getting updates and fixes out a lot faster. They yeah, they are. The they are bogged. They are bogged down by by nitty gritty stuff. Yeah. They need to be getting the stuff thing. fixed. They need to be getting new stuff added much faster than they have done in the last three years. Otherwise, it's just, it's not going to be a game that lives. It will die. People will stop playing it. You know? People would put would sooner spend three eight three thousand hours playing this this game than yeah. putting hours into cattle and crops. So at least they know this game's finished and works properly. <laughs> yeah, it still has some issues and stuff, but I mean, it's you, you can have fun with it. You can play. It. It takes some time to learn it and. I mean, most of the issues the game has, I wouldn't even recognize if you didn't tell me. So, I mean, I like the tutorial side of cattle and crops, but it is a little bit extensive. It is. <laughs> the fact that it requires you to do so many of the tutorials before you can actually play the game. Yeah, I mean, if you start a new profile, do you have to go through it again? <laughs> yeah. That's the question. Yeah, because, well, the certificates and that are locked to your profile, yeah. So if you ever deleted your profile and created a new one, you would have to do all the, again, all the scenarios as well. To unlock all the equipment to use in the free play and career mode. Which effectively is exactly the same at the minute because they haven't been I mean, in career mode. I mean, that is really surprising that they have nothing in career mode. <clears throat> Maybe that's why they made the tutorial so long that before the people actually get to play career mode, <laughs> they have to finish everything else. Um, <clears throat> and then they have time to complete the career mode. But they had some some career mode career mode and missions three years ago. They already had that. Yeah, they already had that because you used to go into the calendar and it used to show you all the different jobs that were available on the map that the other farmers were offering you and how much they were paying. Yeah. And you could accept yeah. them and then you could go off and do them or you could set up jobs for your workers to go and do them. Mm -hmm. which was great fun and that's like you know how it should be a bit like the contract yeah. system in this game you can have a look on the screen see what contracts are about accept the ones you want and you can go off you and do them fancy. or you can yeah. send your workers off to do them and that's how you make money in the early stages when you when you don't own that many fields and, that, and then you can buy more fields I think career mode's going to be a bit grindy because you start with what like, one field and you're going to have to harvest plant and harvest that god knows how many times in a row before you can buy some that sells mm. buy another bit of land yeah. and then yeah, that's that's a thing that we still don't know how much do they pay for the harvest you know mm -hmm. is it enough or not or how many times do I have to harvest my one field before I can buy a new tractor? <laughs> you know, things like that. Yeah. And they cost half a million, no? Like, in this game. Or 200,000 for a tractor and half a million for a harvester or something. 
I mean, there is another guy who, who makes let, uh, Let's Plays, and he actually uses a modded harvester in this game because it's cheaper. It's a smaller one. Yeah. No? It's a Massey Ferguson or something, but it's um, he can afford it. Yeah, with his million that he gets. But then the modded equipment doesn't make any sound yet <laughs> in the game. If the modders haven't figured out how the sound system works. Yeah. The sound files are used I mean, in what format. Interesting, interesting enough is that the modders already have something out because there was no modding tutorial yet or no, mod no information how the modders should do it. They have mod tools, yeah. Yeah. You can use it, you can add another wheel to your tractor, a second wheel, yeah, like you have on your tractor. He showed it, yeah? you can do it. You can import even mods from Farm Simulator 19. We have with some modification, you can do that. But he said. You shouldn't do it without the permission of the modder. I mean, if the original modder is doing it, fine. Import a try six. <laughs> yeah. Import your plow. So I can plow a field properly. Yeah, things like that will happen. Import I mean, our, our, our cedar. Our cedar would be nice to have in cattle crops. People. What do people want? They want cattle and crops with the physics of cattle and crops, with the field modeling and everything, but and with the helpers of cattle and crops, but with the rest of farm sim. Yeah, they want the variety That's of That's what equipment, they want. The choice of equipment, <laughs> brands, <clears throat> want yeah. the level of detail in the equipment, all the choices, the debt that farm sim has to offer which cattle and crops will never hold for, be able to offer because they don't have the licenses with the companies. Yeah. And most of the stuff that's going to end up in that game will be under the fake brand that they've set up. Hammer. Yeah, Hammer. The Hammer. <laughs> yeah, that's, they also had discussions with some brands and they, they already have given their license to somebody else, I guess, exclusively. Yeah, what was it? Uh, let's see. Yeah. I mean, cattle. This this game has so many brands. Huh? Porsche. Huh? Porsche mm -hmm. refused the license for two cattle and crops. I would imagine because giants have got them and, down and to an exclusive. And, and Porsche and Crumper. They refuse the license, yeah. I'd be quite surprised if Farms, in, when they add companies now to their game, they don't have them sign exclusive deals on the licensing yeah. so that their equipment can only be in Farming Simulator. Yeah. Can't be appear in any other game. It would make sense. same way that EA Sports have all the um, licenses for all the, you know, like the football clubs. Yeah. So any yeah. other company that tries to make a football game can't use the real teams and real players. <laughs> Makes sense. They pay for it. They yeah, give they money to the that. Yeah. They buy the license. Big business. The licenses. I forgot how much EA and, Sports and, pays and, for and drops, They don't have a big, big money bag. Yeah, they they don't. They don't have really cash or something available to do that. Base IH quad track harvest problems. There's a new video from Millennium Farm just online. 
he's got a red tractor. It's bound to give him problems. Hmm. The red tractor's going to freak out when it finds itself on a farm surrounded by green ones. Of course it's going to have issues. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Great minds. Don't try to come see you. Oh, no, I'm not following me line. I'm not following me line. The UPS has been bumped. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Missing a thin strip of the field, probably. Probably going to be a red line down it. Yeah, we're all right. We got away with that. Oh, what's gone wrong here? This plough's a bit weird. Have you ever noticed that in this plough? Bit weird. Red one. Seems to stay in the ground even though you've lifted it up. Yeah, you just can't only fold it up, you have to lift it up and then fold it up. Well, I folded it and it still looks like it sticks in the ground. I've even disconnected it and reconnected it. It doesn't look like it's lifted up. No, you haven't lifted it up. Lift it up! I can't, because now Press it's saying... The lift up button. Now it's saying I have to unfold it to lower it. Yeah, no, unfold it, lift it up. It's lowered. Lift up, lift it up. It's lifted, didn't seem to lift oh. very high. No, it doesn't. And that That's fold. not enough. That's not and enough. I'm stuck in the ground and I can only do, I can only drive back to the farm at like plowing speed. But even if I disconnect it and then drive away and then come back and reconnect it, it doesn't lift it. It's Probably the red tractor. So weird. Yeah. This problem with this plan. Interesting. I'm at the f at the repair shop, and you know what comes up? Repair the trunk, the, the the harvester, and the header. <laughs> it's on the other side of the wall. Yeah. They need to move them. Unless everyone gets these triggers. But the trigger is so far inside. Can't be. It's not, it's not even on this side. It's on the other side. <laughs> it's on the other side. Oh my God. Yeah, in cattle and crops, this this farmer guy, he walks a little bit odd, but that was, I mean, he even walked w more weird than now. In the beginning, you remember that? Um, I mean, I, so it's tough to say because I, I don't think I've ever played cattle and crops in third person. I think I've always played in third person, person because I've never found the button oh. to go to third person. Okay. And I certainly know I can't press the button to go to third person now because I've rebound it on my controller. <laughs> I think, as I say, the button that was changed your view from first to third person is now the one that makes me skip vehicles. <laughs> okay, that's it for me tonight. I have to keep it a little bit more quiet. My wife wants to sleep. Sleepy, sleepy time. Mr. Helgi and Carol. So, 
Catch you later. See you tomorrow, Mr. Helby. Bye. Bye, right, sir. No. We're going in there, I suppose. If the game lets me quit. <laughs> yeah, come on. Loading, loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. Um, ah, it's the it's the high resolution picture that takes so long. That's it. Climb as much of the field as I can. It's all pretty much even. And like I say, I can get some nice alfalfa planted on it. Nice. It's a shame I can't remove that hedge between field 9 and field 12. That would have been useful. Join all these fields together then. Remove the trees, which would have been great, because then I could have got some wood chips ready for when we need to make boards and barrel, barrels and stuff. Hello, Ugg, I06. Hello and welcome to the stream. So this is definitely going to be more, um, more, um, alfalfa planted on here. Which I might do. Which I might do. Quickly tonight. Um, is it possible to join the server? It is possible. The server is open. However, the minimum requirements are for people to join the server. You must be on PC because that's what we're playing on. Um, you must also have all the DLC for the game because the server uses all the DLC. And if you fulfill both of those, then it is possible to join the server. In which case, a, a link can be sent to you with the map and the mod pack to download and install. Ah, that's the problem then. See, that's where, that's where most people tend to fall down. Because for some reason, most people don't seem to have all the DLC. And I don't know why. I don't know why people don't have all the DLC. One thing that seems to stop a lot of people from playing multiplayer is the fact that they don't own the DLC. Very good. The DLC is all good value. And lots of good stuff in it.
particularly like the Cavernland, the Borjo and the Class DLC, not definitely, definitely should be on everybody's must-have list because of the amount of equipment and vehicles that those mods add. Um, you could argue that the... Um, uh, what's it called now? I've forgotten the name of it, the DLC. What was it called? The Anderson DLC might not be to everyone's cup of tea unless you do lots of like baling do lots of stuff with bales lots of stuff with silage do a lot with the cows with the animal feeders and things like that that might be a bit low down on your your, your shopping list and maybe the cotton dlc as well with it only having the one vehicle in it might not have been to everyone's cup of tea but then it that was quite cheap that was only like a couple of quid buy that John Deere Cotton Harvester. But certainly, like the Class, the Borgio, and the Cavernland DLCs, they everyone should have those because they it adds so much equipment to the game. And like when the Alpine Alpine DLC comes out next month, um, although not everybody's going to want to play the map, not a lot of people are going to want to bother with the map, but there are certainly some equipment there that some people might want to have a play with some of the electric tractors and stuff when saying that i do have a spare i do have a spare code dlc code for the John Deere DLC and also the Cavernland, I think it is. Or someone on PC. Somebody on PC wants those. I do have a spare code for those. that field lined I think next plan would be to seed it I'm looking at the time now and thinking to myself do I seed it tonight or do I come back and seed it tomorrow I'm going to live stream tomorrow I'm going to put this out there right now I'm live streaming tomorrow Monday but I'm going to be streaming a lot earlier in the daytime tomorrow I will be on live here on Twitch much earlier in the day tomorrow for those people that are around and available to watch and if you want to be notified when I'm live make sure you're following the channel I'll try I'm going to try to get back into the swing of a couple of days a week playing and streaming early like you know morning morning to early afternoon uk time doing the streams um, especially as i'm not doing any like single player content at the minute i'm not recording any like single player let's plays things like that at the moment for youtube which means my days aren't being taken up by offline recording which means hopefully i can play a little bit more on the server in the daytime and get a fair few things done 
Obviously, I appreciate the fact that Mr. Helgi is not available. <laughs> Most of the time. Because he's at work. Which means I will be playing on my own most of the daytime when I'm streaming. But that's fine. I can kind of role play my way through things as if it was a single player let's play type deal. <laughs> yeah, you kind of need to get in the habit. I know it sounds weird. It, it's much better to park these harvesters. Right, much better park them at an angle, if you can. If you can. I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying. They take up a lot less space if you park them more at an angle like this. And then you can park them closer, side by side. Again, I know that from personal experience from, like I say, when we when I worked in the um, golf business. The shed that we had, we, we kept all our mowers in and stuff for the course. We found that if we parked the mowers at an angle, not only did they fit in the shed better, but then it also left an actual gangway where you could actually walk down between them. <laughs> it was easy to walk through this workshop when all the vehicles are in there and parked. There we go. That's the first part of the day done. As I say, I'll get the alfalfa seeded tomorrow on the stream. And then I'll have a look at doing some other bits and pieces. I might start going down and have a look at some of the factories See if there's any stuff that I can start moving around at those. Uh, sheep are making their wool. At the moment, they're not making it very quickly because we don't have all the different food that they require, which would increase their productivity. So they're, they're only functioning at half capacity at the minute, the sheep, because we're missing alfalfa which again is something I can probably mow tomorrow and get added into their pens. Check the chicken. Chicken should be all right. They shouldn't need a lot. Right, let's have a look. Fruit types. So again, fields there are okay at the minute. They don't need doing. Field nine is yeah, it's about ready to mow, which is the alfalfa. Field 12 needs obviously to be planted. And then... Um, should be good to go and then we'll have more stuff but that's it for me tonight folks so thank you for watching hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream i will see you bright and early tomorrow morning be sure to come back and join me then good night for now folks cheerio